Sydney or Pony for Kids first, and today I'll be reviewing Wonka. I really enjoy the movie Wonka as a spin-off of the beloved 1971 movie, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Both films are inspired by the classic book of the same title by Roald Dahl. Wonka explores Willy Wonka's backstory and includes new, lovable characters. The animation is enjoyable to watch. The storyline follows a young boy, Wonka, who is determined to chase his dream of opening a chocolate shop. However, some people, and an Oompa Loompa with a grudge, are hunting him down and will do anything to stop his dream from becoming true. Will the many obstacles and difficult choices get in the way? The main characters are Willy Wonka, Timothy Chalamet, Noodle, Kalal Lane, Mrs. Scrubbit, Olivia Coleman, Slugsworth, Patterson Joseph, Chief of Police, Keegan-Michael Key, Father Julius, Rowan Atkinson, and of course, Oompa Loompa, Hugh Grant. The casting is wonderful, and each character has its own backstory, which makes the plot more interesting. It also creates an empathetic mood. For example, Noodle never knew her parents and has been forced to work her whole life, which makes the audience care about her more. The other new characters are a great touch, too. Most of them have humorous personalities, which I enjoy. Next, I love the sets in the film. The cherry blossom tree in the factory absolutely blows me away. It's magical and reflects happiness perfectly. The famous edible teacups are included as well. There's a small chocolate river, but more chocolate is seen when Noodle and Wonka get trapped underground, drowning in the liquid goodness. There are many musical numbers, including a few new songs. The film is well-directed, so I'd applaud the director, Paul King. My favorite part of the film is the character Wonka. He's energetic, hopeful, kind-hearted, and hilarious. He shows a side of Wonka we never saw in other adaptions. Timothy Chalamet is fantastic at displaying the lovable character. The film's message is to enjoy life while pursuing your passions and dreams. I particularly love the note Willie's mom gave him, informing him that it isn't the chocolate that matters, but the people he shares it with. This shares the theme of enjoying the time spent with loved ones. I give Wonka 4 out of 5 stars and I recommend it for ages 8 to 12 plus adults. Wonka came out in theaters on December 15th, 2023. I'm Sydney reporting for Kids First. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss my next review or those of my team members. See you later!